Hi, Michael. Mr. Kopecky, welcome as well. Angelo from Bavaria. Servus, mein Lieber. Hi, Tim. Hi, Dietmar. Demo. Hi, Doug. Welcome to the huge HU tobacco shopping tonight or yeah, this noon, this afternoon or this mm, morning. <laughs> no, sort of. Yeah, well, so noon at least in California as well, I guess. I hope the tone is well. Please let me know if anything is wrong with that because that's a new streaming software I'm using today the first time so I don't have any experience with it. Well, Tim, I'm very fine. Thank you very much. I hope you and your dad are well too. Greetings uh, from Greece and to Greece here from Switzerland, yes. Hoi Uwe from Switzerland as well. Mm -hmm. Balcony Piper, thanks for the feedback. Ah, Jeff. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> So again, the purpose of this live stream, short live stream, so uh, no worries here, this won't be a three hours thing here. The purpose is the HU tobacco shopping here for all of those who can purchase these tobaccos very easily. So outside from uh, Europe here. The great great grandfather was from Switzerland. Ooh -hoo. Wow, that's a long time ago, Michael. <laughs> so uh, no chance for me to to know him. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yes, I think many of uh, the guys from US or UK or wherever have Swiss roots. Yes. Pipe shop with Big John. Yeah, well, Jeff, you couldn't be uh, in a better place except from Switzerland here, of course. Greetings, Aces, from Greek as well. Hi, John, the bearded Welshman. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you're doing fine, John. I'm really, uh, I was about to, to uh, send you an email as well. Because uh, yeah, the contact was a bit uh, mm, less the few months between us. I'm really sorry for that. So, but I'll shoot you a mail, and then uh, we'll discuss everything. Signalman Tony from Rhode Island, I suppose. Yes, thank you, sir. I'm fine. Okay, bye Jeff. Uh, I'll put down, uh, let's say, 10 tins from uh, Soraya for you. 
So, now, well, I think I have to put my pipe away. Mm. That's good to hear, and I hope the drugs are still good, my dear John. So, H.U. Tobacco from Hans Wiedemann, my very dear friend here from Baden-Württemberg, from Germany. He's the blender, the owner of H.U. Tobacco. He makes fantastic tobaccos. Um, they are all blended at uh, K, K so Kohlhase and Kopp, Germany as well, in Offenburg. But um, there is not one single blend Hans doesn't test himself um, and proves it. So really a great, great blend. Um, I try to, to put them in, in some order. So um, we have lots of tobaccos for Latakia lovers, for Vapor lovers, for Virginia. Lovers, um, Virginia, Burley, Kentucky, so the more stronger guys here. We have uh, cigar leaf blends as well, of course, Oriental. So Oriental is great for people who haven't tried Latakia yet or don't feel well with Latakia, so they can start with Orientals. And of course, yeah, Birdie and Straight Virginia's aromatics, so the whole thing uh, we have here with HU. So, uh, just try to follow up here with the. Ah, Servus! Helmut, yeah, <laughs> a little more German, he said. Ich versuche es, mein lieber Helmut. Um, Aber du kannst ja den HU-Tabak äh, ganz einfach sogar persönlich abholen in Füßenfeld auf den Tabak Bosch. Das können natürlich die UK und US Leute hier nicht. Just explain to Helmut, a very dear friend from Bavaria, he is able to get the HU tobacco very easily because there is the little distributor is right next to him. That was, I think, um, five, six, seven kilometers away, so he's got an advantage here. So, um, I know already that Onion, our dear 2 a.m. pipe on the patio, would like to have the Port Ladakia. Port Ladakia, that's a good one. A really, really great Ladakia blend. I don't know really the amount of the Latakia. I think at least 50%, if not more. So if you like Latakia, then let me know if you are interested in this one. There is also another real great Latakia mixture, that's the Reiko. Let's see if I can manage this here. So, wait. Uh, the Reiko, yes. That's also Latakia, but a little bit flavored with chocolate, but it's really great. So, it goes very well with a Early with a um, pure black Cavendish, Virginia and Malakia. Like I said, the name before was Reiko Choco Chocolate, so Chocolat. So, of course, now it's uh, not possible to name it like this. So now it's just Reiko in between, but a really great Malakia blend as well. 
Hi, Robert. <clears throat> Yes, John, thanks for stopping by. We'll talk soon. So, Aces, um, Luciana broken. Yes, that's and what else? No, only this Luciana broken, one of your favorites. Yeah, let's see which category. I think that's almost pure perique, isn't it? Um, for vapor lovers, I highly recommend the director's cut. Or also the Night Owl, that's the new one, one of the new blends. Very high amount of evil peak. So no blends for me at all, but also with a little Kentucky and the stronger one. So Night Owl really for Perik lovers or the director's cut or also the old Fredder's Flake. So that's the Night Owl still, I don't know. Yeah, we have a little time lab here so yeah that's the old Freda's flake pipe artist Steph and Perry Piper skip yes hello and welcome uh, thanks for stopping by so we have uh, just you arrived just in time because we are talking about vapor sears Greek blends director's cut night owl or old freda's flake really really good blend from hu so please everyone just let me know which blends you'd like to try from hu i'll write it down and then we'll figure something out how we can get these blends Course. Mel Harris, my favorite Texan, welcome. <laughs> yeah, Tim, well, the problem is I, I, have, I only have one tongue, and if this one is gone, yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> so I, I just take it easy here on the Perique. So, um, Maybe sometimes, uh, many, many moons from now, who knows, maybe I will uh, like Perik, but no, not at the moment. Mel, thank you very much for the shout out uh, you did for me lately and for the live stream here, the live shopping for HU Tobacco. So um, many tins of Port Ladakir are ordered already, I know. And yes, let me know what you want to try here from HU. I have uh, cigar leaf blends as well. I highly recommend the Nyala. Nyala is with uh, Virginia Burley. A little bit Kentucky I think and cigar leaf very nice and I think some of you already tried the white horse also very nice but here's evil P in it so brick not much but you can taste it yeah so if you like it more smooth then go with the Nala Definitely. Thanks, Balcony Piper. Flattery is always welcome.
Aces uh, Scotney. Yep, uh, Scotney. I'm not sure about this one. If this is a vapor, I know that's an aromatic. That's for sure, and it's flavored with. Yep. Watch out, tomato. Yes, it's really a pipe tobacco with tomato. I have tried um, <laughs> because uh, yeah, I was too scared because of the tomatoes. But um, yeah, if you like it, you can get it. No problem. Aces, do you want a, a tin of uh, Scotney? Please let me know. Robert, a cigar blend, yes, usually if you also like cigars, it's worth a try, definitely, especially when the blend comes from uh, McLelland or HU. There are not many more alternatives right now, in my opinion, just in my opinion. Director's Cut, Mel, yes, I thought so, because you're the vapor lover here. Director's Cut, that's this one. Enjoy, Mel. Antonis, that's what I saw, uh, thought, sorry, das war was ich dachte, the Scotney is uh, flavored with tomato, but I think you can only smell it a little bit, so probably it's, it's a little bit like ketchup, but you don't get it uh, taste-wise, so no problem, you don't have to smoke a tomato. Duck, another one for the port, Ladakia, yes. How many tins would you like to have, Doug? I'll take your order right away, my friend. My favorite, of course, because it's my baby, is Oriental Blend, the Soraya, of course. I am the father of this child, so to say. Nice Oriental, really strong Oriental forward blend with Virginia Burley. Only a touch of Pyrrhic, really, only a touch because, yeah. I wouldn't have approved more, so only 5% um, of Perique and really delicious tobacco, but as an oriental should be smoked relaxed. Otherwise orientals, they don't bite, but they get bitter. So that's something you should know if you don't have experience with blends. Good evening Pipe Puffer UK. It's yeah eight minutes after 8 p.m. in UK. And I guess uh, rainy, <laughs> cold, bitter cold, uh, well, we, we had a beautiful day here today, sunshine, but yeah, really cold, so, um,
it's not too bad actually. I'm enjoying here some winter time uh, tobacco from 2018, a gift from uh, Lester, Red Coats Return. Thank you very much, Lester. Um, it's with uh, flavored with almond, with oranges, vanilla. So Christmas blend, really, but delicious. Ghost Cop from Ice Cold Gettysburg. Good uh, afternoon, my brother. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, we had the, the rain is gone. Uh, yeah, finally, we had the whole Christmas week uh, rainy and uh, yeah, warm, sort of warm, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the rain was really annoying. So I'm glad this is gone. HU Tobacco um, also has uh, flakes, of course. They are made by Dan Tobacco, also from Germany. In my opinion, one can taste this, that they are manufactured by a different blender, so not from K&K, uh, but from Dan Pipe. Good, yes, so not really uh, my cup of tea, so but uh, the dock worker is is a great burly flake. The Tillerman's Flanagan Haymaker is a straight Virginia, so very delicious flake. But uh, yeah, for, for vapor lovers, oh, we have very um, special blend, the anniversary blend five years, when uh, HU Tobacco had its five years anniversary, Hans made a special blend flavored with balsamico, hmm. it's a Virginia Burley Kentucky blend, uh, let me see if I can show you, yes that's this one, but I think very delicious and worth a try. Usually, Hans aromatic blends are not overwhelming, just slight in the background or a, a very well combination with a natural taste of a tobacco. So the burley goes um, from its nature very well together with uh, with chocolate with uh, nuts or something and that's what Hans um, chooses for his aromatics only flavors that goes very well in combination with a natural taste of tobacco so he's not really yeah killing the taste so it's not uh, artificial or chemical so it's really really great great blends. <laughs> Rick, yummy, yeah, well, but like I say, you can also order real tobacco from HU, so how about the straight Virginia? Where are the Virginia lovers here? I recommend the Red Fox, for example. That's a really nice Virginia. Straight Virginia, and I think uh, different Virginias from different regions. Mm 
there was another one, Imagine, but I think this one is sold out and I think uh, Hans doesn't make it uh, anymore, couldn't find it on his uh, website. But well, no, Nashville County is only for Burley lovers because this uh, contains 60% Burley, so the Virginia is there only the the background. The tight Nick Piper. Hey, hello, my friend. How are the socks and the <laughs> the the winter sweater going right now? So that's high season now for us knitters. <laughs> I'm doing very well. Yes, thank you. I'm enjoying my holidays. Yeah, Sean, but uh, your taste is uh, very different from my taste, usually, except when it comes to uh, holidays in a wonderful, breathtaking country, <laughs> and it's food, then we are really brothers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pine Puffer UK, Brüllende Löw, so... Um, Ah, how do you say it in English? A uh, um, roaring lion or something? I think that's flavored with coffee. That's an uh, aromatic from Hans. How many tins <laughs> shall I put down for you here? So how was your Christmas? I hope uh, you had a wonderful day or two days at least. I think you guys have two days, Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. So in Europe here we have three days actually. So Christmas Eve, the 24th and then also the 25th and the 26th. And uh, usually people uh, have uh, are on holiday the whole week go uh, skiing or whatever if, if they can find some snow and um, yeah mm. I surprisingly um, received some gifts from two very very nice members here of the YTPC Mark Northeast Piper UK of course and Redcoats Return Leicester I was really stoked when I saw what they uh, got me and yeah, I will make a little video about this. It was really, wow, really touching. Uh, the watch is amazing, amazing community, amazing family. So great. Unholy Smokes, welcome as well. Tim, yes, you can order from Pfeiffen Depot in Hamburg. That's the um, the one who exports to UK or US or yeah, directly through through me. So please let me know if you need some assistance with the order process there on the website or whatever. So that's why I'm sitting here with my uh, yeah. 
so I can order this for you as well, of course, if this would be easier for you, just then, uh, just mention. Yeah, Nyala, great. I think you'll like it. The dog worker, um, Sean, is okay. It's a burly uh, flake. <laughs> but I don't think it's really your cup of tea there. Eh, not sure. <laughs> Shalom, Rabbi. Shalom, Israel. Oh, almost half past 10 p.m. there. So, good night, Rabbi. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Ah, Sean, yeah. No, no, there are many, many more really great and big people here in YTPC, so that's just, I'm just paying forward here, so. So, Mel, just a second, I have to go um, back, I'm sorry, too much rambling. Um, Pipe Puffer UK, I think you asked about the Brüllen de Löw, if this is an English blend, I'll just, I'll double check in a second. No Mel, sorry I've missed that, please let me know. What do you want to have here? English blends, yes. So, Tony, uh, like I said, we have Latakia, stray, almost straight Latakia here with the uh, port Latakia, of course. Or also, I would say, um, is similar to Dunhill's early morning pipe, the English breakfast. The English breakfast that could be great for someone who doesn't want to have too much Latakia in it. So then I recommend the English breakfast, of course. If you like Orientals, then have to try Soraya. A really, really great Absolute oriental forward blend, no doubt about it. So, very, really for experienced pipe smokers, not for beginners, that's for sure. Um, so, now I try to check for a minute the Wool in the Louvre, the Warring Lion here, if this is. I thought it's an uh, aromatic. Bulldoof. It has red Virginia, Latakia, Black Cavendish, Orient, and Perique. That's more stronger. No. Tony, that was my fault. You're absolutely right. The Brun de Leuf is not the coffee aromatic, there's another one. I, I, uh, what was the name again? So the Brun de Leuf is also English, English blend. What was the name of the other thing? I uh, have to check. Yeah. Genit Moment, that was the one with the coffee. So Brun de Leuf. Roaring Lion is also the English thing here, English blend. Yes, Tim, absolutely fine with me. Okay, Paul the Piper, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Hello, El Zeko. Pipe artist step. We love Latakia. Well, I totally agree on that one. 
Mel, thank you. Yeah, Ghost Cop rambling too much here because <laughs> I can't find. He said something about. Yeah, Perik. I just. Director's cut. No, I can't see here the the comment. But yeah, you've got my email, mail, so no problem, and you'll get your pipe anyways. I have to contact our Turkish friend here, give him some orders for the the right pipe in the right size with the right nine mil filter this time. I'm so sorry, I screwed up the first one. Still sorry for that. Uh, I will do. I was still on training uh, when I sent you the first pipe, so now I'm more experienced in giving away pipes. <laughs> so, and, yeah, I will get better every year. So, I think I need a little water here, just a moment. Ah, sleep from the bottom here, yeah. Oh, well. So, you guys don't have anything to smoke unless you'll order some HU tobacco. Come on, people. <laughs> Make Hans happy and me as well. Um, Steph, pipe artist Steph and Perik Piper Skip. Which Ladakia have you already tried from HU Tobacco? I can recommend three very, very great Ladakia blends. That's the Reiko, the Port Ladakia, or the English Breakfast Fest. But I think um, you could use some more heavy, heavier Ladakia blends. So you should go with a port Latakia maybe. Please let me know if you would like to try uh, this blend. I can get you a tin, send it to you. Just email, email me your address and the tin will be on its way next year. <laughs> this year it's over, almost over. So. Only the Monday to uh, to do some things because I never do some shopping or some uh, annoying things on the 31st of December because my grandmother had a saying. She always said, what you do on December the 31st, you will do the whole, during the whole new year. So I don't spend any money on this day. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to avoid anything that's annoying or boring or bad at all. So there's only one day left for me this year. So don't don't clean the house, don't do any laundry because yeah, you will really do this the whole year. Grooming skips beard. <laughs> Pipe up for UK. Yes, welcome. Everyone, of course, feel just feel free to email me your order. I will give you my email. So please feel free to send me uh, your order or your questions or your wishes for the next video, videos, critics, whatever, everything is welcome. <laughs> yeah. 
So I really tried one year when I was younger. I was always, yeah, yeah, grandfather. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. um, but I really did it one year on purpose that I went shopping on December the 31st. It was, the year was, it was 1993, the following year. <laughs> it was still, in my personal history, the, the, yeah, it was a disaster. It, I, I can tell what exactly. Uh, so really, everything, everything went wrong in that damn year. So it was really a curse. So I never did some uh, shopping or anything uh, else on that day. So. Hello there, Jürgen Larsen. That pretty much sounds like Sweden. I hope you have much snow because then you have much light. <laughs> um, oh, we have a we have a newbie uh, in Sweden. I found his video lately. I'll give him a shout out as well in one of my following videos. Happy Piper, please check out the channel already. Happy Piper from Sweden if I got that right, but I think so. So lots, lots of people from Sweden already. Eknog, uh, well, that's almost uh, the only thing. <laughs> no, there's, there are a few Scottish whiskeys as well. I don't like really, but Eknog, I just can't connect with that. I have no idea. I like eggs, but not in the glass. <laughs> Flatwater Monty, hello, sir. Thanks for stopping by here. Okay, Mel, thank you. Pictures uh, from you, <laughs> or send some of your nice uh, wife. <laughs> I think uh, you you meant the pipe, right? Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The real gentleman from UK arrived, just arrived. My burly brother, Phil. Howdy, so the, the jock is gone already, I suppose. No problem, Steph. I'm happy with any comments I get, I, I get here. <laughs> I'm uh, stoked to see the result on Skip. Maybe uh, I should visit you as well then too for a little trimming here. <laughs> well, Rabbi, I don't know what happens with a person uh, whose birthday birthday is on December the 31st. Um, at least the, the, the birthday party every year is very cheap, I think, <laughs> because everyone is doing you know, fireworks and whatever, so you don't have to spend much. Um, and I think for a kid, it's very hard to have birthday during the, the winter holidays. Um, so I don't know, my birthday is in March and I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> I don't know. Brother's birthday is December the 24th. Oh, oh, yeah. As a kid, I thought, well, that's the jackpot, you know, you have Christmas and you have a birthday, uh, but nope. <laughs> I think that's... That's not really, uh, really good. You don't get a uh, double, double amount of presents, uh, maybe only the half. Uh, that's really not easy. Yes, Mel, I think one picture I still have from this uh, gentleman with a pipe. I think I can figure out the, the matter there of the pipe. 
So the height of the bowl is important, so the depth actually of the bowl. And how long you want to have it, maybe you can send it to me, so how long it should be and how deep you want the bowl and the drilling or whatever. Everything that's important for you so that I won't screw it up again. Please help me, my friend. I don't care about the money, you know that, so that's no trouble, but yeah, you know what I mean, I think. Alex, Hive, Eagle Pipe, another very, very dear friend from Germany, uh, my ex boss, so to say. Many, many years ago, I was employee of a, of a company, uh, and yeah, I wasn't able, so I wasn't allowed to do videos on any social media, and so Alex offered. Um, me the chance to do videos with together with him so i was just on his channel and uh, no one could find me i was his reporter <laughs> so to say and uh, that was a great time fun time and i really enjoyed it deep smoke pipes good afternoon sir nc piper hey now the whips are coming here <laughs> hey i'm i'm i'm, I'm nervous already because of my first live stream alone yeah all by myself i did one with with alex alex du erinnerst dich an unseren live stream that was uh, dennis who wanted to dance for us great holiday yes i have peter conrad welcome Doris' birthday, December 22nd. So that's, yeah, that's not better at all. January 2nd, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Son was born 22nd of December, oh, Phil, now that's... So you're more active before summer, yeah? <laughs> No, my two are both born in May, so no problem. Hi, Hans. So was I. Little sis. Garbage can mix, yeah, well, that sounds <laughs> sort of, mm -hmm. no, but I know lots of delicious tobacco or cigars even. Yes, Phil, it's cold, but I think the tobacco and the cigars like this weather, yeah. Yes, NC Piper, of course. Do you have my email? I posted it already a few <laughs> comments ago, but I can repeat it, of course, anytime. I, of course, rent out again. So once again, um, for English blend lovers, try Port Ladakia, English breakfast, also the, the Soraya, the Oriental forwarded blend here, Nashville County, that's the one for Burley lovers, and Cigar Leaf lovers, Niala, N-Y-A-L-A, or the White Horse, which has a little bit evil pea, so Perik in it. Great Virginia lovers should go with Red Fox. 
I think that's uh, ready rocked. Well, of course, in vapor lovers, I know there are some strange people out there who like Perique. They can go with the director's cut night old, the new blend, very new blend now from Hans. All the old Fredder's flake. All very delicious. Um, blends you can check out of course on the website from HU Tobacco itself. So that's the, when you follow this link I've just posted on the right hand side from this website, you will find all the blends he's got. Also the flakes. Um, there is one exception, I don't know if these are also on the website, the blends selected by HU Tobacco are not blended by HU Tobacco, that's the difference. Mm -mm. No, they are not on his website. Just checked though all blends there are blended by HU Tobacco or from K and K to be exactly from Germany, but they really do a great job and Hans checks every blend uh, by himself until they are good enough in his opinion and then they are launched and not a single day earlier. Hi Puffer UK, yes I have tried Zulu, exactly, um, also very good Latakia blend but not one I would purchase again to put it in that way. So um, there's also the the Fayum, F A Y W M I think. Mm, that one was, if I remember that correctly, it's a long time ago. Um, that one was a little bit smoother. So I prefer smooth, creamy, smooth, creamy smoke so to say. So the Zulu was, in, in my opinion, a little too harsh. I'm just checking here what it's... Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the one. The Zulu also has Evil P in it, so it's Kentucky and Perique, and I think that was the harshness, the spiciness I got from that Zulu. I didn't like it, so. But of course, if you like a uh, little spiciness in your tobacco, go with the Zulu. That's a great blend then, yeah? Alex, gern geschehen. Auch bei dem wirst du daneben liegen. <laughs> uh, Alex uh, just thanked me for a tobacco sample he got from the tobacco advent calendar. I did a little game there on my German forum, pipe forum. So I 
had a little game there, um, and he won two samples of tobacco, and now there will be the little game that the people who receive the sample has to um, try to find out which blend this is. And I will post the list next week, and then we'll see who did a great job there. Yes, Phil, Makuva, National County for Burley Falls, also the dock worker, that's the flake. 60% uh, Burley is in the National County, so I think that's the really the, the Burley blend from Hans. Peter Conrad, yes, Sport Latakia is a fine tobacco and for Latakia lovers, a uh, must, must go, must try. Does someone know who blended this uh, wintertime blend 2018? It's flavored with orange, almond, vanilla, and something else. So, a really nice Christmas tobacco I received from Red Coats Return. Lester, thank you again, my friend. Um, I guess it could be Retrace or Peterson. So, it's, it's a really, really good blend. I didn't expect that actually, so that's why I put it <laughs> in the mission. Really great. Listen, uh, mm. Washington State, welcome. Good afternoon, I think. Retrace professional mix. Oh, that sounds interesting. I haven't heard it. 1943 Dunhill. Ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. Doc Higgins, welcome, my dear friend. Thanks for stopping by. I'm honored to have you here. <laughs> Joe Fish sixty five. Hi there. Oki Piper. Thanks for stopping by, Phil. Have a great uh, evening, a good night, and a good start in the new week. Why have you have you go to work tomorrow? You are the boss. What about your employees? We'll discuss the particulars, hopefully next year at the Nottingham Pipe Show, but yeah, when they will do this uh, not in May, then I'll have a problem because I have to travel to Germany uh, in the first, the first week of June. My parents uh, will celebrate their 60 years wedding anniversary, so I no, I really can't skip this. <laughs> uh, that will cause any problems, so no, no chance.
Yes, Cliff, I can send you some. <laughs> Uh, it depends on uh, in which region of Switzerland you live or you like to travel. So um, more in the eastern part, very eastern part next to Austria. So Davos, of course, uh, everyone knows, or St. Moritz. Uh, yes, there is lots of snow already, I think, until May, <laughs> at least. Uh, Lucerne... Mm, no, not that much. So it's it's still too warm, and if it snows a little bit, yeah, well, it's melting the the other day because it's too warm. Uh, and in Germany, so southern part of Baden-Württemberg, where my wife lives, no snow at all. Cold now, but no snow. Eric, the blue color pipe smoker. Wow. Hello there, friend. How are you doing? Do you have a new dog? <laughs> That's what, what's uh, very interesting, I think. Yes, 60 years. That's the, the diamond wedding uh, thing anniversary, I think. So, yeah, a really rare anniversary. I won't make it. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, they married very early, so that that was usual back in these times. And um, yes, my father did a great job so far. And if he won't make any <laughs> huge mistakes now until next June, they will have the six years. Yeah. <laughs> Shoveling the stuff, yo, yeah, that's so much fun especially if it's wet snow it weighs tons <laughs> it weighs tons and yeah the best thing uh, you could do is leave it like this and it will get really hard and then it's easier to handle but uh, yeah snow. Mm -mm. not for me either but in arizona is, uh, sorry but <laughs> What kind of snow do you mean? <laughs> you don't know what snow is. It's frozen water, you know. It's frozen. It freeze. That means very low temperatures. <laughs> less, way less than 40 degrees or 50. Three feet of snow. That sounds awful. That sounds like this right now so I'm sitting down here rain northern Wisconsin okay yes Eric I try to do my very best here uh, we spend a few days over the Christmas Christmas uh, holidays here in a hotel next to the, the uh, in, in the southern part of, of uh, south West Germany, only eating, <laughs> smoking, drinking, <laughs> so it was really healthy, of course, and really relaxing. So that's my huge topic for next year: relax, grow up, and relax. <laughs> Try at least. Can keep the snow, yeah. Thank you, brother. I will. Forty-eight degrees in Chicago. Mm -hmm. That's not cold either. That's about 18, 17, 18 degrees Celsius, I think. No, that's spring for me. Nebraska, yep. That sounds cold. No snow in Sweden. Oh, the silent pipe smoker. Look who's here. Welcome, my friend. South of Sweden, yeah. I've seen different pictures already from Sweden and there was snow, yep. Rain, rain and more rain, yep. Mm -hmm. Practically the same here in Germany and uh, the northern part of Switzerland, it was 
very rainy. Yeah. But on the other hand, we need the water. But yeah, some regions also need the snow because they depend on the water from the melting snow then for drinking water. So because the lakes, um, because of the hot summers we have now, um, hmm, yeah, that will cause many problems the next few years, I think. So not enough water for all the people. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Rabbi, you don't even know what cold is. I know, yeah, yeah, you told me that in February it was cold there when I was there. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started on this. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it was cold, yeah, right. I think winter just starts later on. So um, a few years back, it was November, December. Now it's more like February and March. And yeah, this year, the last snow was gone. I think it was May the 30th. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> We already had 25 degrees Celsius uh, and now one further day of, of winter so, and, and really 30 centimeters snow. So yeah, the winter comes late, stays longer and then hot and very, very, very dry summers. I think this year was quite okay. But the year, so last year, I think we had six months, no rain in six months. Not for me. Really not for me. 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Onion, I already took your order, my dear friend. No worries about that. This is the... HU tobacco shopping show here tonight. So, um, 10 tins of Port Larakia are uh, on its way already. So, no worries about anything, my dear friend. No discussion about that either. Yeah, well, Mel. <laughs> I believe you, of course, but I won't try it. No, I, I won't try it. Nelly, I think, NC Piper. Nelly, I'm sorry if, I, uh, if I'm mistaken here with your name. The director's cut is also a vapor. That's a Virginia Perique blend, I think also with some birdie in it. I'll just double check for you. Um, director's Cut. I have the website here open as well on the PC so I can check anytime. We have a, a Director's Cut is a Virginia Perique Curly Cut. Yes, only Virginia and Perique, so absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> but Nelly, if you can stand the evil pee, yep, have fun <laughs> with that one. Bye, Sean. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon, brother, on HP. Mm -hmm. Flat water Monty Onion doesn't know either what cold is. It was 40 something degrees uh, uh, and he was sitting there like, yeah, so. Timo, danke fürs reinschauen. 
guten Rutsch auch dir, ein gesundes neues Pfeifenjahr mit ganz vielen neuen Pfeifen und Tabak. Thanks, Mel. Sam, Mr. F, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Flatwater Monty, bye bye as well. Yes, guys, I think we can close the HU Tobacco Shopping Mall um, for now. So you can send me. An email anytime, of course. You know my mail. It's uh, always in the down in the bucket uh, of my videos. So let me know which HU tobacco blends you would like to try. I also posted here the link of uh, the HU tobacco website, so that you can also see what blends are there, in which blends. Are you interested in <clears throat> and then you can order them yeah through me that's the easier way I think there's also the distributor pfeifendepot.de so for Germany where you can order they ship internationally of course to UK to US or yeah, outside Europe in general but in case you need some assistance with the ordering process, then please let me know. I'll do this for you that way. <laughs> 40 degrees is cold. Okay, Onion. Leave it like this. Cliff, good luck. Send me a photo as well, please. And uh, have fun. Happy New Year. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you. We'll stay connected. Uh, Sam HU no, doesn't have the site in English. I don't know if you can select the language somewhere. I don't think so. But good news. Um, you don't really need a translation. So the, the names of the tobacco, okay, the description is in German, yes, but copy paste it and uh, fill it into whatever, uh, dipple.com. And uh, but the, the tobacco, the names of the tobaccos, uh, so the, the, the which are in the blends, Virginia, Perique, and so on. You know this, you can see this in the text. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me anytime. Hi, Cliff, happy new year. Stay well and happy and healthy. Tim, you are more than welcome. You know this. I'm always happy to help. Thanks, Steph and Skip as well. Don't forget to send me a photo of the well-trimmed beard. <laughs> Onion, you are more than welcome. And Hans is a very, very good friend of mine. And I'm so thankful uh, that Andrew Surigi Serigliano, the Bluefin Piper, also supports me to spread some HU tobacco out here in the, in the family. Really great. Thanks, Doc. Hola. Luis, my friend, so thanks for stopping by as well. Okay, guys, thank you all for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Mine is all, almost gone now, uh, 10 o'clock p.m. So, um, yeah, I closed the HU online.
life tobacco store here now and thanks again for stopping by i wish you all a very happy new year and enjoy the party and um yeah i'm looking forward already to see you all healthy well and happy in 2020 bye for now we'll see us Now I just have to manage to stop this thing here. Yeah, so now, bye. Thanks.